If you would like to see more, please consider checking out my website where I sell my handmade paints and also some artwork and prints. I will leave a link to my website down in the description bar below. This is a website that I set up to showcase my artwork and sell a few things. You can also view my gallery on there too. Alternatively, you can also check me out on Patreon, where you can get a few extra bits, including monthly dot card rewards of my handmade watercolours and commercial brands. Again, I will leave the link down in the description bar below if you would like to consider checking that out. So this video is just a quick little video. Recently, I did a bit of an art swap with a fellow fellow artist and fellow paint maker. So her name is Katie Hanna and she very kindly sent me some art supplies. So here is her little business card. She also makes handmade watercolour paints and she's based here in the UK. So the name of her paint are Kahana's Honey Hues and she makes a range of paints and she sells them over on her Etsy store. Recently she's been selling the really rare paint of it's a weird blue, it's called like YLN Blue. I'm not sure what it stands for, but it's a really interesting paint. It's a very expensive pigment to buy, and she sells over on her Etsy store, which I will link down below. I also link pages down below to her Instagram page. So do make sure you go follow her and check out her handmade paints. And I do want to say before we get into this, a big thank you to Katie Anna for sending these paints to me. So the paints that she actually sent to me, she got while she was on holiday to Poland. Um, if you didn't know, Poland do sell some really great home, um, homegrown watercolour paints. They're really cheap and really economic and affordable. They are the Renaissance watercolours and she's also sent me some Roman Schmalls watercolours. So the Renaissance colours, if you don't know, are supposed to be the Polish version of Zeki's. Zeki's watercolours are watercolours that are made in Italy, they're quite expensive and they're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of underground a little bit. Not too many people know about them, but enough people know about them that makes them expensive and kind of, I don't know how to describe it, they're kind of sought after, but they're kind of not really mainstream. So the Roman, not the Roman Schmalls, the Renaissance ones are supposed to be Polish versions of Zeki's and they are of course a lot cheaper even over here in the UK or in America. If you do live in the US I will leave a link down below to an Etsy store where you can get Renaissance paints from. It's called A Little Creative and I know kind of the lady called April behind it. I've seen her in a few live streams before and she's a really nice lady and she sells them but she does only ship to within the US and maybe Canada. She does not ship to Europe I'm afraid. So these are the Roman Schmalls paints that she's got given to me. Uh, she got me four, four pounds, they come in four pound form only not half pan or in tubes. And again, they're supposed to be very cheap per full pan. And I hope that Katie Hannah, if you're watching, you had a really great time in Poland. It sounds like an amazing country. So along with the very large and generous Renaissance tubes that she sent me, she also sent me some half pans to try out some colours as well. So she pulled out a few half pans of samples for colours. This is really great because I can see how the paint has dried without having to pour a load of it out to test it. She was also very kind enough to send me some De La Rowney watercolours as well. They're another English brand along with Winsor & Newton. They've kind of fallen out of popularity a little bit over here. Not so many art shops sell them anymore. But they are still a pretty good brand. They're no frills, quite basic, but they're pretty good colours. And as well, they're not quite as expensive as Winsor & Newton if you are here in the UK. All of the half pans that she sent me were really nicely wrapped and had all of the information written on them, which is really nice. So I'm going to put all of the half pans into a metal tin just to keep them safe and dust free. I do quite have a large backup of projects that I'm working on, so it might be a little while 
before I get around to doing a full review of all of these brands. This is why I did a video like this, because I didn't want it to be until sometime next year before you guys knew about them. I kind of wanted to share this and sort of share Katie Hannah's pages and a bit about her because she was really kind and generous to send me this stuff even though that it did come from Poland and it is considerably more economic over there than what it is here it was still a very generous thing for her to do I have recently ordered a few handmade watercolours of hers and I can't wait to try them and I did get a sample of that really special blue which I can't wait to try out. It's a very expensive pigment, I did have considered making it myself but because it is such an investment I decided not to and decided to focus on other colours. I did send Katie Hannah a few colours to try out back so I put together a plastic folder palette of some colours that she hadn't tried from up brands that she was new to like Old Holland and Rembrandt and Schmincke and a few Daniel Smith Primatec ones I really hope that Katie Hannah would enjoy those and I also sent her a dot card of some of my own handmade watercolours for her to try out too so this brings us to the end of everything, this is everything that she's now sent me and a really big thank you again, it's amazing please do go check her out if you don't already follow her and don't know who she is I will leave everything down in that description bar, so please do check her out. And I cannot wait to review all of these paints. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this. Take care everybody and bye bye.